Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival this, and we return to Don't Starve, where we're into day 21, going into day 22 of our series here. And winter is well on its way. So one thing I want to do is make this thermal measure. So we'll quickly make that up because we want to keep track of how cold it does get and will get. Everything else has been doing okay. Our sanity is a little low, but if we make this, that will probably help with that. Let's just put that down, see how we're looking. Yeah, so it looks like it's pretty cool right now. So one of the things with winter coming on is that we'll really have to be ready for just how chilly it gets. One thing we could do though, are make some, do I have any hound's tooths? I don't think so, no. And for clothing, actually, you know what? Maybe what I'll also do is make another thermal stone because we want to stay as warm as possible. So where did I put that? Maybe it's under survival. Yeah, here we go. Just need another... No, actually, I don't have a pickaxe. Okay, let's make a couple. But we're going to make another thermal stone and just set that down beside the fire. Because if we want to go out exploring, we need a way to stay warm once winter really sets in. And what we're probably going to do is stock up a lot on things like... There we go. We can put all that in there. Yeah, so we'll take that with us, so that way we stay warm there. And we're going to stock up to get a lot of stuff in order to hunt. So, any crows I see, we're definitely going to try taking down. Uh, the jays we won't worry too much about. We will come down here and try to get some beefalo manure, if that if we can find. I'm... Oh, wait, I don't... Okay, no, I do have the log suit on. It just doesn't show on our character. I just want to basically get them... Okay, so we'll let these guys kind of start going away. Okay, so it's four arrows just to take down... ...regular spider. There's another thing of silk. We'll just outrun these guys, and then we'll definitely harvest some wood in that. Our thermal stone. Still holding heat. I don't know how long we'll basically get with it, though. But we'll come back and pick up that other silk and an arrow. And any crows we spot, we'll want to take... Oh, speak of. Oh, didn't quite get him. But we want to get as many trees as we can to be able to get wood and be ready to keep the fire stocked. Because winter can be pretty brutal and Don't Starve. Just like how The Long Dark has winter is a very brutal one, every survival game knows winter, you really can be in dire straits. Yeah, we're basically making our little tree nursery over here. And I probably will cut down these other dead trees. Oh, well, there goes the axe. Gotta make a new one of those. Okay, well, we got that, at least. So there's a little bit of... Oh, and there's the freezing over. So we'll have to mine that. We'll eat the Ratatouille just to get that in. Let's get our shovel. I don't think it's going to have an immediate effect on us quite yet, but we'll need to definitely keep an eye on that. Because there's not as many ways to keep yourself warm once it gets really colder out. Ow. 
Yeah, okay, there we go. We see that... There's our first bite of snow. Yeah, you know what? We'll even plant these here if we can. Start getting these closer to home. Let's do that. We'll put this into there. Collect these if we can. One, two, three. There we go. Also put this thermal stone close with the other one. Pick that up. Another morsel, so at least it's more food. Okay, and there are crops growing. So we can leave that. Oh, there's some food we'll eat up. That back in. Now, the azure feathers you use a lot for the blow darts, so it might not hurt if we can get more black feathers to try making some for that. Let's see if there's anything else that's really... Uh, we are a little low, so maybe we'll try healing ourselves up a bit. Let's do two of those. We got the beard hair. Nothing we can really do with that, though. And you know what? The niter will just drop because we can free something up to put in there. Oh, there's a trap up here. A little bit more food. Okay, we'll set that again. And there we go. There's another feather. So we can make a few more arrows. And let's just see if we can get you. Oh, no. You just want to drop that, because I don't really know how you refine the niter. And you know what? We'll grab a couple of berries just to put that in. Okay, let that go. Oh, didn't mean to eat that. We'll get that rabbit done. Okay, and for more arrows. Nice and simple. There we go. Push up, up to 12. Oh. oh, there was another feather tucked in that. Okay, let's make another arrow. So we're up to 17, which is pretty good, because it seems like the arrows will need a lot of just to take down a, anything sizable. If four will, are what we need to take down a spider, maybe the gold ones will be stronger. But we need the Prestahatitator, and for that we need what? Oh, just six silk. We've got three right now, so that's... Oh, actually, no, we have the full... So I'm trying to remember, the Presta whatever you call it is a magic thing, and you need the one top hat and four rabbits, so... We'll have to wait a bit. Ooh, keep the fire going good, though. And we'll pick that last bush we got here. Well, I'm guessing we also have those hands creeping in again. Yeah, there's one. Don't know if there'll be multiples, or if that's just the only one we have to deal with. It might be because our sanity has gotten as, as low as it has, too, that we're encountering that. So we'll have to try making another garland. Keep those back. Yeah, we should also maybe look at refreshing some of the traps we have out here. It should be daybreak in just a moment or two here. My thinking is we'll get ourselves outfitted for winter and turn Don't Starve into basically a hunting game. Just want to see... Basic bolts, cross... Ooh, actually, crossbow might be something interesting to try making too. I do want to see how good the gold arrows are. Let's press the Hattitator. Okay, so for that, we might as well start on that. So let's make the top hat. 
store that away. Everything's kind of slow for growth right now. Oh, those have already started to grow from what we planted, so that's really good. Oh, there's some more flowers. We need a dozen, I think, for that, though, so... Unless we find a lot more, we're probably going to... Oh. There's snow on the trees now. I wonder if maybe I should try making a gold axe, because... It'd be nice if we could harvest trees faster. But I was doing a little bit of reading just so that way we can hopefully survive our first winter and don't starve. And it seems like it lasts 10 days. So every 20, you kind of get the 20 days to prepare and then you get to go through 10 of winter. We'll keep an eye on our thermal stone down there. Yeah, we definitely need a stronger... Ooh. Okay, it's just those gull things. Not bad. They just kind of surprised me there. We'll take that, though. Eat those. There we go. There's another feather. Oh, yeah, I can see where there's even patches of ice springing up now. If we had gears, we could, I think, make a fridge, but we'll just take this back and up. Plant these close. Okay, put that down, store that in there, and let that cook that down, take that one up. And let's see, nothing else in any of our traps here. Oh, we got a flower over here, though. Oh, and another. Eleven. And we've got some of these growing back, too, so that's really good. Let me just make more regular arrows. There we go. Yeah, and already back down to sunset and dusk. The days are really short in winter, so you got to really keep a good eye and just stick close to where you are got everything built up. There is a way to make clothing that'll keep you warmer, but that we're going to need a lot of stuff for. I'm kind of hoping we could find one more flower while we're out down here, but I don't know if we'll get that lucky. Now let's just keep the fire going. Drop the thermal stone, because we're back. A little bit more in there, and see how much we've got for room. There's another feather. Perfect. Now we'll take that arrow back. Okay, and with this one, that should be enough basic arrows that no matter what, we're basically going to be good on. Yeah, so 20 is the max stack of those. Might as well toss that into the fire. Ah, drop that as close as we can. We'll take that to eat. Okay, and all the crops, they're probably going to take forever to grow because it is winter, but at least we can keep that going all right. And we need more rabbits for the Presta Watsa, whatever it is. And four boars. So no, we'll make up two right now. Save the wood so that we... Now, if you know what, we'll store some of the feathers up, so that way when we get the thing, we can make the better arrows. A little bit more meat. I 
It sounds like the trees are really going growing fast though for it being winter. I thought they'd take a long time to grow. Another morsel into the fire. Yeah, so we're not doing too bad for sanity, and I don't hear that little dingling or chiming for the hands coming, so we might be able to relax a little more. Plenty of gold. We got a red gem. Anything I want to make structure-wise, though. Hay walls. Well, nothing really. Rabbit hutch might not be bad, but... Oh, the bunny puffs. Right, that's actually for a different type of rabbit. And unfortunately, we can't really break down the wood board, I don't think, for the cobblestones. No. Thunder air. Oh. Freezing arrows we could make. The Oh, and fire arrows we might be able to make. Freezing, though, we could try making some. Could make the crossbow. A lot of stuff we could try making to see. I wonder where is... Oh, okay, there's gunpowder. Rotten egg charcoal, and niter. I know where we could go running off to to get some eggs, but I don't think we'll do that. At least not until we have ourselves a little better suited to make the long trek off that way. Uh, do, 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 tent, clean to, luxury pan, yeah, nothing really amazing here. The only thing I will do is for some of the blow darts, we need the azure feathers. So what we may do is look at getting as many of those as we can. So let's... Well, the cut reeds, we know where we can find some of those. The hound's tooth, we just have to wait for the hounds to be on their way again. And the azure feathers, we just gotta hunt a lot of the birds that are available in the winter. So, we'll probably leave this episode right here, because we're getting to a good spot with the next day almost dawning. And it is probably going to be a little bit more just the daily grind of keeping ourselves well prepared, stocking up a little bit. Just kind of your regular survival routine. But thank you guys very much for joining me on another episode of Don't Starve. Oh, excuse me. If you do like this series, be sure to leave a like or comment on the video. Let me know. I'm always eager for any feedback my viewers can provide. And if you do want to support the channel or help us out a little bit, maybe think about subscribing. We're always welcoming new people to the Survival Bisque community. Until I see you in the next video, though, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.